It's an exciting day on the farm. We are finally going to introduce our rooster, by the name of Yankee Doodle, to the flock of hens. So first of all, we put his little, put him in a little crate and set him outside the hen coop. And the hens all lined up to stare at him, which was pretty funny. <laughs> he was all excited. It was pretty fun to watch them. And the next step, let them all out into the field and see how they interact. Yankee Doodle is quite excited. He's going around the front of the cage, <laughs> looking in at the hens. Let's see what the hens do. Oops, there goes Yankee Doodle running away into the grass. He doesn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> Yankee Doodle, come back! Come on up, girls! They're like, wait a minute, is this a trick? I'm not really as interested in that as I would have expected. I think they're hesitant because Rosie's here, partly. Yeah. The hens were not at all sure that they wanted to come out of their coop. But finally, one brave hen led the way. It turned out to be rather anticlimactic. Chickens all kind of looked at one another. Some of them pecked at Yankee Doodle's tuft of feathers on his head. He went running about and stared at the hens. What are you doing? Don't run away. The other thing I'm not really clear on is, so I don't know what, like, he's just doing chicken things and what, like, chicken... But at least they weren't ferociously fighting or anything. So we'll keep gradually introducing them. In the early spring, the ravens made a nest in the hay barn. Now all the children are fledged, and the family sits around in the field looking for food. We've had a few rainy days here, and each night there's this amazing double rainbow across the fields. It's so beautiful. cozy, rainy evening tonight, and I'm blobbing on my sofa, <laughs> resting. I was trying to sew some little animals, but just didn't have the oomph for the energy, so I'm just sitting here on my sofa and enjoying listening to the rain pattering on my roof, which is very nice. We had a stretch without much rain, and now the last few days it's been raining again. And that's good for the garden and the lawn and everything. 
It almost feels cold outside because the temperature has dropped so much. It's actually in the 70s, so it's not cold, but from 90, that's quite a drop. Feels lovely. Nice change. We are beginning to harvest regularly from our garden. Tomatoes and now zucchini are ripe. It's very exciting. You're in the wrong area. You're supposed to be in with the hens. Did you crawl under the fence? Is that what you did? One day as I was out looking at the garden, I noticed Yankee Doodle had escaped the field and he was leading the flock of chickens out towards the garden. <laughs> He looked so cute and friendly, it was a pity to shoo him back in. But I didn't want them getting all over the place and eating the garden. Uh-oh, the chickens are out too. The hens, I mean. Go back under the fence. Go ahead and go back under the fence. It turned out there was a large gap under one yeah, section of the fence. Back. So I shooed them back under. And I found a large board to cover the hole to hopefully deter that from happening again. Okay, hopefully that will help. The chickens were not too pleased with me. They had enjoyed their little doorway to the wide world. Here's the first zucchini, and in here are the little acorn squashes that are growing nicely. There's a tiny cantaloupe growing on the vine there, and even, to my joy, a little tiny watermelon. Hopefully it will have time to mature. Spaghetti squash is coming. There's a couple of them there, as well as a little shiny purple eggplant. There's this beautiful trumpet vine that's blooming. The hummingbirds love it. And as I'm trying to get a video of my beautiful flowers, here are my kitties in my face, as usual. Hooray for watermelon! I love watermelon so much, it's delicious. I joked to Aaron that I'm going to go bankrupt from gas and watermelon this summer. <laughs> my two big expenses. Yum. Okay, I'm back at my animal sewing tonight. I'm going to fill up this little bluish salamander with the stuffing pellets. Uh-oh, the sound the little pellets make it sounds like kitty food and my kitties popped up and looked in the doorway. Now I feel all guilty. Ta-da! Isn't it cute? Look at these cute kitties hiding on the rain. I tried to go for a walk, but it was just raining too much for me. And I came back to see Valentine and Spook all cuddled up for a nap. We are all so proud of our garden. It is so beautiful and large and doing so well. I just want to share it with all of you. We've had so much rain. My water catchers are full to the brim. 
I'm very happy about that. The rain is so refreshing and wonderful. And look at all these little tomatoes coming and the larger tomatoes. And here come my kitties to say hi. Hi, kitties. <laughs> Time for more cozy evening sewing. It is raining yet again. I'm beginning to feel like I'm back in Ohio. <laughs> That's really nice for the garden and it makes the temperature lower as well. So I'm happy with that. 